In this video, let's explore all the features of Canva required to create complex Toastmaster brand compliant content. Let's get started. Before you start this training, I highly recommend you check my previous video which explains the basics of creating Toastmaster brand compliant content including colors, fonts, logos and images. Link to that video is in the description. This video is split into chapters. What I suggest you do is complete each chapter which is only a few minutes in length, pause the video and complete the same exercise in Canva. Once you are confident, come back to this video and move to the next chapter. To make this training practical, I will build this poster from scratch. It's not a very complicated poster, but it has most of the elements that I want to cover in this training. One of the problems that we face when we are creating Toastmaster brand compliant content is to remember the precise color codes. Instead of remembering and typing the color code every time, we can use the feature of brand kit that is available in Canva. To access the brand kit, go to the home page of Canva and you'll find the brand kit on the left hand side. Click on it. To use the full features of the brand kit, you need to upgrade to a pro account. But with a free account also, you can store up to three colors in the brand kit. And that's what we are going to do. I will store the three primary colors of the brand in the brand kit, which is the cool gray, true maroon and loyal blue. To add the color, click on the plus sign and type the color of cool gray, which is A9, B2, B1. And the color is set. Click the plus sign. For the second color, let's enter the true maroon, 772432. And the color is set. Click plus again. And let's set this to loyal blue, which is 004165. And that's all we can store in the brand colors with your free account. If you try to add the fourth color, it will ask you to upgrade to the pro account. With the color set, let's go and create a new design. And to do that, click create design and choose the type of design that you want to create. I want to create a Facebook post. So let me type Facebook and it gives me a list of Facebook specific designs. I want to create a Facebook post, so I will select this. To set the background color for this design, click anywhere and click on this color button. You can see that the three colors that I have defined in the brand palette are now accessible to us with a click of a button. Our reference poster, which is here, has a white background. So let me go back to my design and set the background to white. To do that, Click anywhere on the design and click the color button. The white color is available in the default colors. If it is not, you can type the color code of white, which is the letter F six times and click on it. Let's move on to the text and the fonts that we can use in this design. If I go to my reference poster, I have a text here which says capital speakers Toastmasters. Let's create that first. Click on the text option in Canva and choose one of the text options, heading, subheading or text. It doesn't matter. Let me click on add a heading and type the text. Resize the text by holding one of the corner circles. You can increase the width of the text by holding the side handles. To move the text box, place your mouse anywhere till you see this cross sign and then move the text to the desired location. As we learned from the previous video, a Toastmaster branded font in Canva can be either Montserrat or it can be Source Sans Pro. Let me make this Montserrat. Click on the arrow and locate the font from the fonts list. You can also quickly search for the font by typing the name of the font and selecting from the list. You can increase the size of the font by clicking on the plus sign and decrease it by clicking on the minus sign. If you want the font to be of a specific size, let's say 25, you can simply type the number and the text will be changed to that size. I want to change the color of this text to loyal blue. To do that, click on this button 
And since the loyal blue is already defined in our brand palette, all I have to do is click on it. If I want to make the text bold, I can click on the bold button. If I want to make it italic, click on the italics button. To remove the italics, simply click on the italics again. Let's add some shapes to our design. If you look at our poster, it contains a number of shapes, a border, another shape here, a star shape, and this line. To add the shapes to our design, click elements, scroll down till you find shapes and select see all. This will show you all the available shapes. Let's start with a border. I will create a border with this shape. To get the right size border, we can resize the shape, move it to the corner, extend it to cover the top, the left. Add the same shape, resize it. And since I want this shape to my right and at the bottom, I will rotate the shape 180 degrees, move it to the corner and extend the shape top and to the left. Change the color of the second shape to loyal blue and our border is done. Next, I will drop this shape, move it to the left and resize it. This shape is made up of two colors and I can change both the colors. I want the top color to be cool gray. Click on this color, which is currently loyal blue and change it to cool gray. And the bottom color, I want it to be loyal blue. The next shape I will add is a star shape to highlight some text. Resize it and set the color to happy yellow. Since I don't have the happy yellow color in my brand palette, I'll have to type it, which is F2DF74. Click on the color. The next shape I want to add is a line. Let me click on all the lines and choose the first one. Move it, size it, and set the color to cool gray. You can add more shapes to create interesting designs in your poster. Most of the shapes available in Canva are brand compliant because we can change their colors to one of the brand palette colors. Avoid using any of the colorful elements that are available in Canva because those would not be brand compliant. The next element that we can add to our design are frames. Frames allow you to add images within a specific shape. Let me add this shape to my design, resize it, move it, and change the border color to true maroon. Within this frame, I want to add an image. To insert a new image, Go to Uploads and select Upload Media. Choose Device and select an image from your computer. Let's say I want to select this image. Select Open and the image will be uploaded in Canva. To use this image, click on it. Hold the image with your mouse and move it to the frame. To remove the image, we can use this Delete option to remove the image from the frame. One of the features available in the Pro version of Canva is the ability to remove the background from an image with a click of a button. For example, if I want to remove all the background from this image, all I have to do is click on Effects, select the Background Remover option. But since this is a free version of Canva, I use a website called remove.bg to achieve the same result. To remove the background, go to remove.bg, select on Upload Image, and choose the image from your PC and it will automatically remove all the background from the image. Click on download, go back to Canva and select uploads and upload the image without the background. This is the image without the background. To use this image in my design, first let me remove this. Click on this image, hold the mouse key and drop it inside the frame. Next, I need a logo and an image. In my previous video, I have already explained the process of getting the logo and the images from the Toastmasters website. I already have the logo uploaded in Canva. All I have to do is click on it, resize it to an appropriate size and place it where I want it. The same applies to the image. I had already uploaded the image and it's available here. Click on it, resize it, place it where you want. A poster is getting almost ready. 
all that is remaining in this poster is to type the rest of the text. If you look at our original poster, we have all these text boxes with different colors and font sizes. What I will now do is quickly type all the text boxes, making sure that my font is either Montserrat or So Sans Pro. I've typed all the text that I need. Now let's do some cleaning up. Canva provides all the tools to help you to align precisely. If you take any object, for example, this text box, and if you move it around, colored guidelines will appear to help you to align this object in relation to other objects in your design. For example, if I want it precisely in the center, I can move it till I see the center guideline. If I move it down, I will see a horizontal guideline. This indicates that this text box is precisely in the center, both horizontally and vertically. If I move this object next to other objects, the guidelines will appear when these objects are precisely aligned. Let's make both these text boxes, the club name and the club details, right aligned. And to do that, I can click on this button and keep clicking on this button till I get the alignment to the right. Same thing I can do for this text box. If I move this text box to the right, I know now both of these are perfectly aligned to the right. To convert text into bullet list, click on the text box and choose this option, list. And we can have list as bullet list, numbered list, or no list. Let me choose bullet list. To rotate any text, all we have to do is click on the text, select this button and rotate it to the desired angle. You can resize it, place it precisely where you want. The same thing can be done here. To move an object, front or back, we can click on the object and click position and say forward. If I want to move it backwards, I can click backwards. And that completes a poster. Not very difficult, is it? I hope you found this video useful and I wish you all the best in creating exciting Toastmaster brand compliant content. In the next video, I will cover additional topics such as gradients, transparencies, creating multiple pages for newsletters, websites, etc. Until then, I wish you all the best.